right? Now, Olympus Dow, I believe, is, is this coin, uh, OHM. OHM shows up as a highly graded coin on Token Metrics 2.0. Very interesting that if the market were to go up, that's a big if, but if it did go up, this thing's been accumulating in this like little ramp takeoff. This looks like Algorand before it moved. Now, I'm not advocating one way or the other, but I am telling you that token metrics grades can help lead you to charts or other research so that you can have the power of a larger research group in your hands. Now, DYDX, wow. This is like the mother of all coins. We could have a DYDX live stream. I am proud to say that token metrics last year issued a report on DYDX and how revolutionary the technology could be. So let's talk about this from two angles. One, DYDX went from 12 to 22 in like a matter of a day and a half. So 22 seems like a really big resistance point. If DYDX goes crazy, it could go to 43. I think the bigger point about this coin is that right now it's trading more volume than Coinbase and Uniswap. Now think about this for a second. We had this question yesterday and we got asked for a clarification. So let's see if I can help out. People use derivatives exchanges to do two things. They use it to get long and they use it to make short bets and they can use leverage. Okay. So whatever amount of money you deposit, you can actually trade as if you were using one times, two times, five times, 10 times the amount of money. Now, currently people are making a lot of bets on DYDX. The volume is huge. Some of those bets, it stands to reason, are short bets, right? They're betting the market is going to go down. Not the market for DYDX, it, that's an exchange. They could be betting Bitcoin and all the other coins that have futures contracts could go down. And when you have heavy volume like that, it stands to reason that people who are hedging, who have to protect themselves, are using DYDX. So there's a huge lesson here. If you were a corporation and you put Bitcoin on your balance sheet at 35,000 and you were afraid of some of the things we talked about, you could go on DYDX and put a position on where you would make money on your short derivatives trade to make up for a loss on your spot trade. So what's going on at DYDX has far reaching consequences. Now, we also got asked yesterday about a token metrics favorite perp. All right. Perp was above 16. I really thought it was going to go. And it turned out it failed and it can't get back above 17. So for the moment, it looks like DYDX is eating perp's lunch. I'm not going to give up on perp. And here's why perp shares its trading fees with its holders. I don't think DYDX does the same thing. So if you're staking with PERP, you actually get a decent yield. I don't know what it is, but people who stake it and hold it, okay, help get yield. But right now, DYDX is hurting PERP. And again, if the market goes down and you've got profits in PERP, think about taking them, not investment advice, if it can't get back above 17. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.